This is Alan Bush with ADMIS. In the stock index futures, we are seeing prices higher this morning, basically for two reasons. Number one, we did have the European Central Bank lowering interest rates to a new record low, down to 50 basis points. This is a 25 basis point cut. Also, we had jobless claims coming in weaker than expected. So for those two reasons, we are seeing some gains this morning. However, it looks like this strength is not following through. In fact, it looks like a lot of the uh, initial uh, strength is starting to uh, be given back. So this could be viewed as a sign of weakness for today's trade in stock index futures, especially after the poor performance that we did have yesterday. Over in the currencies, the euro currency under some pressure with the, the rate cut from the ECB, although a majority of analysts did anticipate the rate cut, what really took the euro lower was the uh, comment in fact, various comments from Mario Draghi indicating that there could be additional accommodation down the road. Also, we have the commodity currencies lower, the Australian dollar and the Canadian, basically due to new news that the Chinese economy is slowing. We feel that the Canadian dollar and the Australian dollar will continue to weaken. Most of the pressure, though, is likely to be on the Australian dollar being linked to the economic weakness that we are seeing in China. We do expect the yen to work lower from here as interest rate differentials continue to undermine the value of the yen. So far, 100 yen to the dollar has held. We feel, though, that within the next couple of weeks, this support will be breached. So look for a new leg down in the yen and continued pressure in the Australian dollar and the Canadian dollar. Credit markets yesterday seeing the yield on the 10-year note moving to a new low for the year. Of course, that would mean new highs for the 10-year note futures on the year. Longer term, we feel as the global economy continues to slow, this will bring more funds back into the credit markets. So we remain bullish in the treasuries, and I think this is a trend that will probably continue through the balance of this year. So look for higher in the treasuries, especially at the long end of the curve in the 30 year. Once again, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.